for a better kick, he would have had the first goal. Yeah, yeah it was a poor kick, really, wasn't it? So it was. 20 around from the Lakers goal ball. Thrown back in, it was uh, McMahon got it down. Robbie Gregg lurking dangerously. Shrugged himself out of a couple of tackles. His handball slipped and over the boundary line and out of the kicking to the Peel Street end. Probably favoured by a couple of goal breeze. Boundary throw in again. It was Brennan nicely sharked by Anderson. Had his kick smothered. Picked up by McGuigan. Already has a goal. He's wrapped up by a couple of swans there. Ball's dispossessed. It was Baker. Now free kick further down the ground. Is holding. He's he's really struggling with with McMahon's size, Caldo. I know he's a big boy himself, but once McMahon gets in front, very hard to get around. So the first real opportunity for the Henderson medal, I see five metres out. Just walking inside 50 now. And he'll start to gather some momentum off too. Didn't look that great off the boot, but he split the medal. So the Lakers get one back. And on the BFL Game of the Round scoreboard, 979 FM 98.5. Seems to be an issue for them at the moment. Yeah, they're just not that surety and running onto the ball like we normally see them do. So from the boundary throw in, McMahon got it down. Nicely picked up by Brad Anderson. He was dispossessed. Lakers player wrapped up in a tackle immediately. And there will be another... Point Tiger, they're actually known for the, the quality of their kicking as well, yeah. aren't they? And they haven't yeah. hit too many targets No, yet. not at all. Ball in the air once more. McMahon got it down, looking for Taylor. Left the ball behind. Opportunity for uh, Fisher there. He was worked out of it. Pack forms again. Still about 20 metres out from the Lakers' goal. 45-degree angle. Scoring opportunity there for the Lakers. And they trail by a goal. So McMahon just hooked it out into the corridor. Opportunity this time for uh, Olszewski. Got the ball on the boot. Goes high up and under. Kicks to a... It has, and there's a lot of numbers around the ball at the moment. I think this suits Bella, right? Oh, yeah. So from the boundary throw in, McMahon tried to get the ball out. Now it fell for Cartledge. Got the ball on the boot. He'll go to the top of the square, but there's nobody home for the Lakers. And the mark taken safely. Ball forward. Loose ball now in the middle of the ground. McMahon overran it. Well done by Caldo for the Swans. You need to try and force that ball out. The umpire is going to give him the benefit of the doubt right in the middle of Eastern Oval. There will be another ball up. 25 and a half minutes in. Back in the air once more. Dying stages of this opening term. The Lakers can get the ball in the middle of the ground. Little fumble that time by Saul. Opened the door for McMahon. He was slung in the tackle. Looking to force it gotcha. forward was Brad Anderson. Battistello may have been taken over the shoulder. It's a fantastic effort by Battistello. Back just about there. Mm. But it was hands... So at that time was Pring, couldn't quite bring the mark down. Loose ball, centre wing. McMahon did very well. Got it back to Pring. He'll just swing the handball out wide to Anderson. Anderson's been very quiet. That's Billy Anderson for the Lakers. And he's kicking. Keller forced to get the handball over the top. Billy Anderson gets it onto Foster. And Foster can go inside attacking. 50, McMahon! He was favoured by the kick. Last and five minutes, Tiger. I think Ben Taylor's really lifted his work. He has, right? he has. Into the throat of the breeze. So the 2010 Henderson medalist now gathers momentum off two steps, then puts it on its way. Has made no mistake. So Paul McMahon grabs one back for the Lakers. And on the BFL game of the round school, he'll look to go out wide, goes in the direction of uh, McMahon once more. Ball sits nicely. He needs to get out of the tackle. He did shrug it. He'll square the handball inside. Where he's got Hayes onto Olszewski now to Battistello. He can look oh, to load it up. No, no good kick. vision. I thought he was. Bulls dropped that time for Battistello. Got himself out nicely. He'll go inside attacking 50. It came off the hands of Sewell. Caldo taken down in a good tackle, but well done by Grills. He can clear out a defensive 50. And he finds McGregor. Right on centre wing out of Wigan. Goes inside 50. Didn't really favour Mc, uh, McMahon. Bounced off the chest to Keldo. He's going to need to oh, get that ball gone, out. He's, and he's holding the ball. Geez, a fantastic shepherd off the footy back on the wing when they cleared the ball then. Yeah. So McMahon, another goal scoring opportunity. It's just purely a question of accuracy. McMahon just walks his way inside 50. He'll take a couple of steps and then put the ball on the boot. He started that Just one left, and it's not going to draw back enough. Minus score. Oh, they really needed that one. After Which, again, the awkward like ball that time, Harkin, and it was stolen by Greg. Greg goes up looking for McMahon. Hands to it. Couldn't quite drag the mark in. The Swans with numbers back. Keldo's there. He'll get the handball out wide. Running onto it, Daniel Thompson. May have been taken down. 
And he didn't have the ball handballed forward. May have been a free kick to Battistello, but the Lakers away once more. Drive the ball inside 50. Greg oh, McMahon can't. didn't need field. to. He's a man. Oh. He's a man, Tiger. Oh, that's moment. a good mark in that he took. He seemed out of that, Paul yeah. McMahon, he? Didn't did, he? but it's a good thing. Front. Mm. They are. For the first time since the early stages of the first term. Two goals this afternoon. The 2010 Henderson medalist should make no mistake, and he's drilled it. And the Lakers retake the lead on the BFL game. It's it on to Foster, and Foster will go out wide. Again, looking for McMahon. Ball sat nicely for him. Trapped it, got around on the left boot, and he'll just chip the ball inside 50, looking that He's time for that. Olszewski. That's Ooh. bounced. Certainly <laughs> bounced. bounced. And it was not out. <laughs> and it's the sun. Definitely, but he slid it on the ground first. Yeah. It was a good effort. He it trapped was. it very nicely, but it was definitely on the half volley. It was McMahon with strength. Got the ball down. Now, free kick's been picked out. It's going to go the way of the Swans, and it'll go to Ash Baker. He'll hand off to McMath again, got the tap down, but it's going to be a free kick to the Lakers. And Cartledge once more on the left birdie. He'll look to square this up, looking for McMahon. Too and strong! Again. Too strong for Nathan Anderson. What's plan C, Michael? Shoot him. <laughs> Put his third goal of the term. He's fourth for the afternoon on the board. He'll be kicking from about 45 metres out. He started that one left, and that too has split the middle. So the Lakers consolidate their lead. Seven points to the margin. 20. Oh, he can go inside attacking 50 again, looking for McMahon. Fell short of him, but he's got time to recover. Gets around on the left boot. Can he shrug the tackle? He can. Swings the handball out wide to Carriger. Carriger will look to put this up to the hot spot. Greg in good position. Got hands to it. Couldn't quite bring the mark down. I've been looking forward to the siren at quarter time, Tiger, but I think the Swans are looking forward to it oh, at half time. I think you're right, Michael. So McMahon oh. again directed it down to Taylor. He fumbled just at the inopportune time. That's going to be a free kick to the Swans. There's another half chance, Tiger, there off the off the contest. Yep. On top. Pring got it on nicely to Gee, Weymouth and goes the barrel inside 50. Running onto it. McMahon should be able to settle and kick the goal. He does. Quick movement by the Lakers. Almost created something out of nothing. The Lakers, and again it's Foster who got the clearance up to attacking 50. Well done by Cunningham. His handball was an awkward one. Thrown to the ground that time. Was the Ballarat player. Got it on to Fisher now. Has the run of Sewell. Sewell can go up looking for McGregor. He's to take the mark down low. A Battistello. Kick with certain penetration. Goes up looking for McMahon. Too strong again. Defensive side of centre wing. You go looking for Greg. Again diving forward. Takes the mark. I'm just holding him up. You go out wide looking for Pring. Can't take the mark, but traps the ball nicely at right half forward. You look to bring the ball back, looking for McMahon again. Good strong hands. He just got that metre break on Josh Keldo that time. Mm. And a great Paul, kick too. It was opportunity to kick his sixth. That's a goal also in this third term. So McMahon from about 45 out. Oh, he that is that. a wonderful kick. He did like that off the boot as soon as he kicked it. And he one. hit the sweet spot with that one, Tiger. And on, drop what he should have oh, taken, then lost his footing. The now yeah. he'll try and get the ball out. Hell by the leg, still being held. I actually thought he had a free kick too, Tiger. I thought he was pretty stiff then. Oh. And it's holding the ball <laughs> against Paul McMahon. Free kick to be taken by Sewell. Sewell will switch play and he goes to the... And Carriger can look to set it up. Just forward of centre wing, out of side of the ground for the Lakers. He'll again kick to a contest. McMahon hands to it. Oh, what a good mark. He was second in line. Brought it to ground and no took it on the, the second occasion. There is nobody in the square, so he might look to load this up. No, he won't. Ben He'll Tyler. just chip short, making space in the corridor is Ben Taylor. And Taylor can turn around and have a set to swing it wide. And between wing and half forward finds McGuigan. McGuigan will chip short, goes looking for McMahon again. Their kicking efficiency has just gone through the roof this quarter. So McMahon, this will take his best kick. He'll be kicking from about 53. He's got six, six so far. Shooting at his seventh. But he'll be kicking from outside 50, 45 degree angle. Again, looks nice on the boot, but I think Off he's line. tugged that one to oh, the left. In fact, he's Whoa. gone. Out of bounds on the full. He's tugged Probably, that off yeah, the left just, to the right-hand side. Just going for a little, little bit extra and couldn't... Some history here. 
at Eastern Oval this afternoon from the boundary throw in Mark Nunn fresh air shot now it opens the door for McMahon oh. on his non-preferred right just put it high up and under but bring oh right up against uh, the boundary line it was out of bounds in the first place so bounce off you surprised his... McMahon then he had so much he, space he actually looked looked to mm. give it off but didn't have a so team so Gar- really starting to assert their authority so Cartledge again goes out wide. He was looking for McMahon. Ball carried the pack, but McGahn did very well. On to the run of Malone, and Malone Ooh. sets it goalwards. They're going in for the kill right now. You see him when Cartledge had that ball. Of the Lakers' goal. And the Lakers can look to set up once more. Ball in the air once more. It was McMahon that got it down. Hayes did very well, and he was dragged off the ball. McGuigan just forces the ball forward. Now to open space. All the numbers here with the Swan. So once again, the Lakers can look to set it up. At 30 around from their goal. McMahon once more got it down to Anderson. Billy Anderson wrapped up in a good tackle by Hutchinson. And the umpire once more will elect to ball it up. Just uh, only a little bit more time. 19 points in favour of the Lakers. McMahon once more. He was looking for McGuigan that time. Loose ball. Well done by Murphy. He needs to get the handball on, which he did to uh, Olshev. Not a lot moving for him. Brennan eventually created something. He's going to stand behind. Aaron Nunn was caught behind that time. And Paul McMahon takes a good mark on the second effort. Too far out to score, you'd think. McMahon here be kicking from about 65 out. Got Pring at the top of the square. In the end, he's going to go with a penetrative kick. Goes looking for uh, Robbie Gregg. Got hands oh, to it. Got Opportunity too. for McGuigan. Swings the ball back across his body. Pring! Oh, oh a good mark! mark! Diving back, Whistled back in the mouth. Not quite sure what that was for, but uh, it's Taylor going the direction of McMahon. Worked his oh. way in front. <laughs> and an exceptional that? mark. I don't know how he took that mark. Super Keeps mark. the ball low. Looking Super for kick. F- looking for Page once more. That's why you win league medals when you can play footy like that. He gave <sighs> him the option. It was a contested. Quarter time, 33 points now. Foster just hands off nicely to Weymouth. Weymouth brings the ball inside 50. It's a little too long for the contest. It'll kick off the ground that time by McMahon. He's got his seventh. He's had a great week. Kicked in the 12 minutes, but Foster again on to Tyler. Now they got the run through Cartledge. He'll load up from outside 50. Kicks looking for McMahon. Well, there's a side story to this now, Michael. Can he get 10? (laughs) Well, yes. 10 goals in uh, it would be one of the more extraordinary mm. performances and one of the more extraordinary weeks in the life of just about anybody. But P- Paul McMahon will kick his eighth from point blank range. The margin beyond 50 points. They're starting to rub Ballarat's nose into it. They know it's all over. Give away a 50 metre penalty that there. Was, that was ridiculous, really. That but was, wasn't it? Taylor to take the free kick goes. Looking for McMahon again out in front of He's Keldo. laughing now. Well, he's kicked eight goals this afternoon. Again, keeps it low, looking for Greg out in front of Aaron Nunn. Takes the mark. Now, just pushing forward, Hayden Cartledge on the stretch. Takes as usual, got it on the Cartledge, tapped it back. It was Hill who just threw that one out, but he did throw it to a Lake Wender replay. McMahon again, <laughs> oh, strong mark. His bodywork off the ball then was just sensational. So McMahon again goes in the direction of Hayes, lost his footing. Ballarat player that time in Cunningham, didn't. Got it on that pocket. So Taylor will be holding the Premiership Cup aloft. He kicks it out to a man who's not going to kick 10 goals this afternoon, unfortunately, Troy Scoble. He's I not. Think, I think eight's a reasonable return, oh, though, isn't it? it's a sensational effort. He's been super. So McMahon goes back to Carriger. Carriger again will just chip short where he finds Webb in the back pocket.